Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with my very first tutorial and it's to create an art brush in Illustrator. You might have noticed the little hat I am wearing today and that's because this morning was the royal wedding between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. I may have gotten into it, maybe I got up at 3 a.m. and made some scones and some cucumber sandwiches and some tea, I don't know, I'll never tell. One way to differentiate yourself in Illustrator is to create your own art brushes and it's super simple to do and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So we're in Illustrator here, brand new document and as you'll see we are into the brushes panel right here and the way you access that is we're on the right here in the right set of tools and then you're going to click on the little button that has three brushes in a container. Very cute, very appropriate. So as you can see up here, we have a list of brushes and you can see a little bit of what the chisel looks like. Pretty basic, they do the job. And let's see what one of the default brushes are. Cool, you can see the, the attributes in there. All right, we're gonna use that and then we're going to now activate our brush tool and the way you do that is go over to the left set of tools and go to the paintbrush tool. Click that and if you actually hold and click you'll see we have two options here. Today we're going to concentrate on the paintbrush tool. Cool. So now as you can see your mouse state has changed which indicates that you are now ready to use the paintbrush tool. So let's just do a little test right here. Hello! Cheerio! That's nice, that's fine, that does the job, but if you want to further make your stuff stand out, you want to create your own art brush, and we're going to get into that right now. So, go over to the left and access your ellipse tool. You can also hit L on your keyboard for a shortcut. And then what we're going to do is create a long oval. So as you can see, as you click, hold, and drag, you're gonna see a preview of what your shape would look like. So we're going to, let's do like right about there. That's cool. And what we wanna do is go down here with the, uh, these are your colors right here, your active colors. Right now it's selected as a stroke. You'll see there's a stroke and no fill. What we wanna do is hit the little arrows right here to swap those, so boop. So that'll fill our ellipse very quickly. I'm going to go up to the select tool here so we can easily select. Okay, cool. So that what we have is we have a really long skinny oval. Uh, you might see where we're going here. See, now we're going to start creating um, the chisel of our custom art brush. So what we want to do now is to go up here to your pen tool click and hold that and you will see four options in the flyout. We're going to go with the anchor point tool right at the bottom here. Bloop. And now we want to go back to our, oh, you know what? We want to select our ellipse first. So hit V to go up to, as a shortcut to the selection tool or go up at the top here on the left selection tool. We're going to select our ellipse. And now we're going to go over to the anchor point tool. And we are going to, as you'll notice, let's get in closer here. I'm going to zoom in. And the way you do that on your keyboard is to hit command plus on your keyboard. That's like on the upper right hand side of your keyboard. Cool. So you'll see that the ellipse is made up of four points. What we're going to do is to apply the anchor point tool right at the top of this point. Whoa, cool! Alright, so as you can see now, instead of a round shape up there, we now have a sharp point. We're going to do the same thing to the bottom of our ellipse. Alright, there you go. So now we have kind of like an elongated football. <laughs> All right, we're going to hit the select tool again. Click anywhere outside of that to deselect. So there's our football. But this is really now your chisel, the chisel of your brush. 
So now you were going to select the ellipse over there and then go back to our brushes panel that we got into at the beginning of this and we're going to hit the the three the the three little are those three lines four lines the little lines at the very top right of this panel and you'll see uh, you'll have a window pop up and you're gonna hit new brush and then we're gonna make a new art brush today Alright, I usually like naming my brushes. We're going to call this Custom Brush 1. How about that? Cool, so this panel is where you can control all of your new art brush attributes. So anything you want it to do, you're going to adjust here. So we can, how wide we want it. We can just keep it where it was at 100 and what's great about here is that you can always adjust these as you play and experiment with your brush. If you create this brush and then you see that you don't like something it's doing, you can just go back in here and make little tweaks and then keep testing until you land to a spot where you really like it. And then you have these brush scale options. We're going to keep it to stretch to fit stroke length and then I usually like having it so that the the stroke is from down to up. Colorization method, we just keep that at none, key color, keep that as default, as black as it is currently. And we're going to keep these as is. All right, and that's it. Just a lot of these settings are all set to go. So we're going to hit OK. And as you can see in the right hand side here under the brushes panel we've now created look at that football looks looks familiar right and if you hover over it it's our custom brush name that we gave it custom brush 01 so we're gonna click on that Whoop. see what happened there that we had our ellipse highlighted so that's 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 what happens anything any shape that you have selected it will apply your art brush to that shape but that's not what we want to do right now so we're going to hit um, click outside of this ellipse alright so now we're going to test our art brush so select that and then select the brush tool by hitting B on your keyboard and again your mouse has changed to indicate that you are ready to use your brush tool so let's start uh, let's start messing around and check that out now you can see that these are longer versions of this ellipse that you made so this looks a little more naturally like a brush let's say you're drawing a face here Yeah, just something to test it out. Something to test it out. So as you can see, so it looks a little bit more like an art brush. So let's let's go back to one of the default brushes, which again, not hating on default brushes, but if you want to make yourself stand out a little more. Yeah, so you'll see that the, this default brush has a thick line. It doesn't have those pointed ends that we created. And this works if you are working with a specific style, this is fine. But if you're looking for something that's a little bit more of a chiseled pen look, then this is the way to go right here, creating your own brushes. And again, if you want to change any of these attributes, you can go ahead and do that by, going, by double clicking on your brush in the brush panel and changing these attributes. Let's try scaling proportionally instead of stretch to fit stroke length. Let's click that and OK. OK, this, this is a pop-up that happens if you want to apply this change to the brush strokes you've already made or if you want to leave the strokes as they are and then now continue to pick up and create new brush brush strokes with this new attribute that you just applied. So we're going to leave strokes just so we can compare. 
So there doesn't seem to be a significant difference. So that's that's good, that works. So you can go in here and change things up and experiment. Like earlier we had it at 100. So let's see if we reduce it to like 50, 52. Let's apply to the strokes we've already made. So as you could see, it immediately changed all the strokes that we made to a thinner width. And that is really convenient if you have been working with the brush for like hours and then you realize, oh, you know what? I really, I really need to change the way this brush looks. This is a really quick way to just instantly apply that change to all of the strokes you've already made. So let's do another Let's make another change. Let's say we want to make it like really, really thick at 255%. That's a little insane. Okay, let's click OK. And it's going to ask us if we want to apply this change to the strokes that have already been made or if we want to continue using new brushes with this new attribute. So let's now leave the strokes. So as you can see, the brushes have remained as they are. And we're going to try... Whoa, okay, so with the width now at 255 percent you see that we have thicker strokes cool so there you have it that's a really quick way to create new art brushes in illustrator you can apply this to many things so i hope you found this video helpful if you did please give me one of these and hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell as well Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!